This project is very important to Devon, and it's the first time this type of project has uh, taken place in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, they did some uh, jacking up of decks in uh, the North Sea, late 80s, the Ecofisk project. Uh, this project that, uh, that VersaBuild is doing for Devon is incorporating some new, uh, some new ideas, uh, same general principle of using hydraulics to lift up the decks, but there are a, a, a number of really neat design features. Each leg remains totally captive while we're jacking, and we do that by partially cutting the legs first and then uh, putting our extension sleeve around the leg, which has some windows in it for us to finish cutting the leg after we get the extension sleeve on. Um, another uh, unique, I guess, design to this is our, our ability to pin off. So at, at any time during the project, uh, when we're not jacking while we're welding, we can uh, have a positive lock on our legs by having a pin inserted through the legs. Um, that's designed to, to withstand hurricane force loads. And another unique thing about that pin is that when we do get to the, the final jacking position, um, it does take some time to weld everything out. So by having that pin inserted into the leg, it, it really minimizes our exposure. We have one joystick that we pull that raises and lowers the whole platform. And uh, what we're monitoring there from our control cabin is the power unit, hydraulic oil temperatures, um, the, the pressures on the, the cylinders, and then of course uh, the individual leg displacements. In 2005, we had Rita come to the field did uh, uh, some more damage to the to the B platform, and uh, we, after we did our underwater inspections, we did have incur some additional damage. So we knew that uh, we'd had to wave the deck again, and we needed to uh, take some added precautions for the future. It's run its course as far as adding braces after uh, after the damage from Rita. So we either had to remove basically remove wave loading from the structure, and the biggest big bang for our buck to remove wave loading was by raising the decks, get them out of the uh, crest wave height during the, the big events. After we jack up the decks, we are certainly confident that we'll have them up out of the, uh, out of the waves from a, certainly a category two, uh, two and three storm. Uh, the the industry is really struggling with how exactly how high these crest waves are during these types of events. Once we get these two decks raised and, uh, and under our belts, uh, we know we'll have a proven system and we know that there's trouble out there. API is increasing their, their wave criteria for future design. Um, so it's going to be interesting these next couple years just to see what happens. What's the schedule for tomorrow? Uh, we're trying to be jacked by 8 o'clock. So I have a little safety meeting, a little uh, GSA before then, and then uh, go from there. Right, we'll pull our four pins and uh, start jacking.